Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, 10 problems I have completed on partnership accounts. So in this topic, first video, I have explained you the meaning of the term partnership, features of partnership, and what are the methods of maintaining the capital accounts, fixed capital method and fluctuating capital method. We have solved so many short problems as all, and also 10 main problems on this partnership. So in this topic of partnership one, we are going to do the problems on calculating the profit sharing ratio and what are the different methods of maintaining the capital accounts and what are the adjustments to be made when a new partner is admitted or when an old partner retires or on the death of the partner. These are the things we are going to cover up in this uh, topic of partnership account one. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject advanced accounting new. Select the videos of partnership. Be perfect about the concept. Then you can be able to understand the coming problems. So before starting the 11th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep the problem ready. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the 11th problem. Problem number 11. Pratap had the following balance sheet on 1st July 2005. Liability side, sundry creditors, bills payable, outstanding expense, Pratap's capital. So, it's a sole trading concern. Pratap is the owner of the business. Cash in hand, cash at bank, sundry debtors, stock in trade, investment, furniture, motor lorry, plan and machinery, land and building. Complete balance sheet of Pratap is given. He is the only person who is the only owner of the business. Sole trading firm. Then Pratap decided to admit Shiva to be the working partner and the following terms were agreed upon. So Pratap has invited a new partner Shiva on the following terms. Shiva would bring 10,000 as his capital and pay 8,000 as premium. Premium means goodwill for the one fifth share in the business. The terms of agreement, the new partner should bring in capital. Shiva should bring in 10,000 rupees capital and 8,000 rupees goodwill. Now, the assets should be revalued as follows. Stock less 10%. The book value of the stock is 17,000. Now, it is agreed that book value of stock should be reduced by 10%. That means 10% of 17,000, 1,700. So 1700 should be deducted from stock and investment 10,000. The book value of the investment was 11,000. Now we have to reduce 1000 rupees from investments. Furniture, motor lorry and plant and machinery less 5%. That means 5% we have to reduce the values of furniture, motor lorry and plant and machinery. And land and building at 15,000. So presently the book value of land and building is 9,100. That means we have to appreciate the value of land and building and we have to bring it to 15,000. Now a reserve for doubtful debts to be created at 5% of sundry debtors. So earlier there was no reserve for doubtful debts. Now we have to create 5% of sundry debtors. Sundry debtors are 29,000. So 5% of 29,000, 1,450. That is the provision for doubt credits we have to provide. Assume that the above agreement was duly carried out. Show the necessary journal entries to record the above adjustment and prepare the balance sheet of the firm after admission of Shiva. So we are required to pass the journal entries, then prepare the ledger account and then we have to prepare the balance sheet after the admission of the new partner, Shiva. First of all, the adjustments are the new partner Shiva is bringing in 10,000 capital and 8,000 goodwill. So cash is coming in. So the entry will be bank account debit. How much cash? 10,000 plus 8,000. 18,000 cash is being brought. So bank account debit 18,000 to Shiva's capital 10,000 to goodwill 8,000. 
being the cash brought in by the new partner. So in examination, you must write the narration, explanation of every entry you should write. I'm not writing because the tire, the space is not sufficient. So you must write it. Always keep a notebook, pen, calculator ready while watching my video. Whenever I explain something important, immediately note it down. Then only you can be able to get the complete command on the subject. So bank account debit, Shiva's capital account credit and goodwill account. Now the good, goodwill of 8000 rupees will be transferred to the old partner. Here there is no old partner but sole trader Pratap. So first entry goodwill was credited. Now second time goodwill will be debited. And credit should be given to the old partner or sole trader. Here sole trader Pratap. So goodwill account debit, Pratap account credit 8000. Now by passing this entry, the goodwill account will not appear in the balance sheet because once we are crediting, second time we are debiting. The amount will go in capital account of Pratap. Being the goodwill taken over by Pratap. That is the entry. Now revaluation. Now we have to reduce the value of stock. We have to reduce the value of investment. We have to reduce the value of furniture, plant and machinery, motor lorry. All these assets values have to be reduced. Now assets will show debit balance. If you want to reduce, you have to credit the asset. And a new account is opened that is called revaluation account. So to make the revaluation of all the assets and liability, a new account is opened called revaluation. So entry will be revaluation account debit to stock, to investment, to furniture, to motor lorry, to plant and machinery. All the assets we have reduced. It is given in the problem stock less 10%. The book value of stock is 17,000. 10% 10 of 17,000, 1,700. So stock account 1,700. Investment value, book value is 11,000. But it is asking you to reduce it to 10,000. That means 1000 rupees investment should be reduced. Investment 1000. Fixture and fitting 5%. The book value of furniture and fixture 1000. 1000 into 5% is 50. Motor lorry. Motor lorry book value is 9500. So 5% 9, of 9500, 475. The plant and machinery. Plant and machinery book value is 13400. 5% 5 of 13400, 670. Now, if you take the total of all these credit amounts, it comes to 3895. So, all the credit items you total, 3895 debited to revaluation account. Being the value of assets decreased, that is the narration. Now, one value is to be increased land and building at rupees 15,000. The book value of land and building was 9,100. And we have to bring it to 15,000 that means 5,900 value we have to increase appreciate so if you want to increase the asset debit asset so entry will be land and building account debit revaluation account credit so land and building account debit revaluation account credit 5,900 being the value of land and building appreciated the next thing is a reserve for doubtful debts to be created at 5% of sundry debt ops so the entry will be revaluation account debit provision for doubtful debts account credit so 5% of sundry data sundry data are how much 29,000 29,000 into 5% 1,450 so here you can see 1,450 being the provision for doubtful debts created now after passing this uh, fifth entry we have to see whether there is profit or loss on revaluation after making the account of uh, uh, revaluation, then we can get whether there is profit or loss, then we'll pass the last entry. So you have to leave the space for uh, passing the last entry and you have to make the revaluation account. Post all the items from the general entries to ledger account and we'll get the profit or loss. Now see here, uh, here revaluation account debit and all assets are created. So revaluation account debit side to stock to investment to furniture to motor lorry to plant and machine all the items we have taken on debit side then land and building account debit revaluation account credit 
तो रिवैल्यूएशन अकाउंट क्रेडिट साइड लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग 5900 नेक्स्ट वन इज रिवैल्यूएशन अकाउंट डेबिट प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स क्रेडिट तो रिवैल्यूएशन अकाउंट डेबिट साइड रिजर्व फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स और प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स यू कैन कॉल इट एज प्रोविजन और रिजर्व दैट्स इट नाउ आफ्टर पोस्टिंग ऑल दीस एंट्रीज नाउ यू हैव टू सी whether डेबिट साइड इज मोर और क्रेडिट साइड इज मोर इन आवर प्रॉब्लम क्रेडिट साइड इज मोर 5900 तो फ्रॉम 5900 थाउजेंड डिडक्ट ऑल द डेबिट आइटम्स अप टू 1450, द बैलेंसिंग फिगर यू आर गेटिंग 555. दिस इज द प्रॉफिट ऑन रिवैल्युएशन एंड दिस प्रॉफिट ऑन रिवैल्युएशन विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू द ओनर दैट मीन्स सोल ट्रेडर हु वॉज द सोल ट्रेडर अर्लियर प्रताप सो दिस 555 फिफ्टी विल बी ट्रांसफर टू प्रताप कैपिटल द एंट्री विल बी रिवैल्युएशन अकाउंट डेबिट Pratap's capital account credit. Here you can see revaluation account debit. Pratap's capital credit being the profit on revaluation transferred. That's it. All the entries are over and revaluation account is over. Now it is optional to make this goodwill account and bank account. If you want, if it is not asking in the problem, you can leave it. But if it is asking, you must have to prepare this accounts. Right now, I am preparing goodwill account. In the first entry, goodwill account was credited by nine eight thousand. Goodwill account is credited. So, what is the opposite here? Bank. The goodwill account credit side by bank eight thousand. First entry posted. Second entry, goodwill account debtor to Pratap's capital. The goodwill account debit side to Pratap's capital eight thousand. Goodwill account gets closed. Now it will not come. in the balance sheet now come to bank account the bank balance given in the problem cash at bank given in the problem 13600 to assets will show debit balance to bank account debit side to balance brought down 13600 right now first entry we have debited bank account only in the first entry we have bank account no other entry we have bank accounts to bank account is debited the bank account debit side to shivas capital 10000 to goodwill 8000 that's all take the total 13600 plus 10000 plus 8000 31600 now balance carried down balance brought down now in the balance sheet we should take the bank balance 31600 now lastly pratap's capital so before the introduction of the new partner how much was the capital of pratap 1 lakh so capital will show credit balance so here you should take down by balance brought down 1 lakh right now post the entries wherever pratap's capital comes you post it into the ledger account first entry pratap's capital is not there second entry goodwill account debit pratap's capital credit so pratap's capital is credited by goodwill so you can see by goodwill 8000 Similarly, last entry, revaluation account debit, Pratap's capital credit. So Pratap's capital is created by revaluation profit five fifty five. That's all. No other entry. Pratap's capital will come. Now take the total on the credit side one lakh eight thousand five fifty five. Same one lakh eight thousand five fifty five debit side to balance carried down. This is the balancing figure. Now by balance brought down one lakh eight thousand five fifty five. That means after adjustment of all the entries, Pratap's capital is showing a balance of one lakh eight thousand five fifty five. Now this balance should be taken in the balance sheet. That's so. We have passed the general entries. We have prepared the ledger accounts. Now finally we are required to make the balance sheet after the introduction of the new partner. This is the balance sheet. Now, by seeing the old balance sheet, we can make the new balance sheet after making the adjustments. Now, debit side, sorry, liability side. Liability side, first item was sundry credit of two thousand five hundred. We have not made any adjustment for sundry creditors. See here, in all these entries, do you find any sundry creditor? No. So, sundry creditor will remain same two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred bills payable one thousand. There is no adjustment regarding bills payable one thousand. So same thing one thousand I have taken. 
Outstanding expenses 500, no adjustment, same 500. Capital account. Earlier, Pratap's capital was the only capital, but now we have two partners, Pratap as well as Shiva. So, capital accounts, Pratap. The so, Pratap's capital after making all adjustment, 1,8,555. And what is the capital brought in by Shiva? 10,000. Shiva's capital is showing a balance of 10,000. So Shiva's capital 10,000. Liability side completed. Now I'm coming to the asset side. First item was cash in hand 400. We have not adjusted the cash in all the entries. The so same cash 400. 400. Cash at bank, earlier cash at bank was 13,600. But after adjustment cash at bank was 31,600. So here I am taking 31,600 bank balance. Now sundry data 29,000 was there. But due uh, in the adjustments, we have made one adjustment regarding provision for doubtful debts. How much is the reserve for doubtful debts? 1,450. So this 1,450 will be deducted from sundry data. So sundry data 29,000 less provision for doubtful debts 1450. Deduct 27,550. Now stock value is reduced by 10%. Here stock is credited 1700. So 17,000 minus 1700, 15,300. Investment book value was 11,000, but 1000 we have deducted. We have reduced by 1000. So 11,000 minus 1000, 10,000. Fixtures the value was 1000, but 5% we have deducted. So 5% is 50. So 1000 minus 50, 950. Motor lorry was uh, 9500. So 5% we have reduced. So 475 we have reduced. So here 9500 minus 475, 9025. Next one is plant and machinery 13400. 5% we have reduced, 670. So minus 670 you will get 12,730. Last one, land building. The old value of land and building was 9,100, but we have appreciated, increased by 5,900. So add up 5,900, 9,100 plus 5,900, 15,000 is the land and building. We have prepared the balance sheet. Now find the total on the liability side, 1,22,555. Same total we are getting, 1,22,555 on the asset side. Balance sheet tablet. So in this problem, I have explained you each and every point regarding how to pass the entries, how to make the ledger accounts and how to make the balance sheet after the admission of a new partner. So inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.